Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to do something potentially very stupid, but definitely quite risky. Some of you will remember my cheap Range Rover that I bought from G3 with this very fetching grey wrap. In fact, it's pretty much identical to our BM mugs, which are available on shiftingmetal.co.uk. Obviously, this car has much bigger problems than just the wrap. We had to put a new turbo on it. The wheels are absolutely disgusting. There's bits of trim hanging off inside, but in that last video, I did say, obviously it is wrapped and it's one of those, it's a Marmite color. Some people seem to love it. Some people seem to hate it, but underneath our wrap should be, I think I'm right in saying Santorini black. Rightly or wrongly, I gave you all the choice to decide in the comments whether I should de-wrap it. But unsurprisingly, the majority of you wanted to see my pain and suffering and have me de-wrap it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm hoping this won't be too bad of a job to actually take the wrap off. We'll get a bit of heat out here. I'll get some help. We can kind of see that in some place it's already starting to peel away. The real risk comes, is there a reason they've wrapped it? Has this car had a bit of a crash and they've chucked a different wing on it and decided maybe we'll just rewrap it? Is the paintwork gonna be horrendous underneath it? I honestly don't know, but there's quite a high risk that the wrap is covering something. I'm genuinely 50-50 on whether I think it's gonna be a nice paint job underneath or the paint's gonna come off with a wrap or it's hiding something quite nasty. So. I guess put your guesses in the comments now before we start taking this wrap off. We're just gonna have to find out. Whatever's under there, I'm gonna have to deal with. Right, I can see I've got an edge I can get here. And to be quite honest, I'm just gonna be a bit of a glory hog about this. I'm gonna I'm gonna start this, start taking it off, we'll see what's underneath, and then I'm gonna leave it to the lads to sort it out because I feel like I could be here all day. But here goes, first piece off. Let's find out what's underneath. Oh, it's looking quite nice and black. There's going to be a lot of rubbish here as well. Probably need to get one of the bins over. It's going to be where it's going to be satisfying if I can get a nice big piece. Oh, that paint on this bit at least looks really, really nice underneath. Actually like quite well polished. I mean, it is the size of a 20 pence piece, so you can't really tell too much. But so far we are 0.01% in and it's going quite well, although it has taken me five minutes. All the professional wrappers out there are going to be slating me in the comments. We better not get Yanomize in here. Probably put a contract out of my life. I have no idea what I'm doing. I think they're struggling because the edges are like stuck behind the back of their bonnet. And I think they do like a heat cycle thing, don't they? So it it toughens it up and stops it from shrinking again. Much easier with an extra pair of hands. We might get Dan involved in a second. Look at that. Oh, there's a few watermarks there. Oh no, they're fucked off. It's looking pretty good. It is just one panel so far, but you know, it's a relief. At least it's not primer. I mean, that's what it was before, I guess. Oh yeah, now we're motoring. This is going to be nice, actually. And then I think we need to paint the wheel silver, maybe. Probably not in this video, but maybe in the future. If this car is all one color and it's not a patchwork underneath, I think it's gonna look so much better in this black. Look at that. I think, I think someone's polished it before they put the wrap on as well, which hopefully is good news. They've done that to the whole car because they want to be sensible about the paint. Right, let's see if we can get some help. Danielle, black is gonna look much nicer than the gray. Oh, way nicer. Why did they wrap and it? It looks like they've polished it as well. Yeah. But that's just one panel so far. So I think we'll have all the edges to do afters. Maybe we'll just kind of heat. And so maybe we don't even need heat. Maybe we just need to peel and hope for the best. I don't know. Heating might kind of make it a bit too tacky. Possibly. Well, yeah, too soft. How did you even get? Did you have an edge to grab, did you? Yeah, there was like a little bit that was peeled up. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just try a like, door next check that, that each panel at least is black. Oh, that's a good shout. And then I'll leave it to everyone else to do the hard work. I think the hardest bit is going to be getting like the little edgy bits out from yeah. around trims. Get the tweezers out and yoink it out. We'll take the trim off, I guess. I feel like I'm going to get very sore fingers by the end of the day. Oh, yeah. Did you just get a very satisfying bit? Mine, mine's coming off in one. Not especially satisfying. But oh, this bit's good. That was embarrassing. Oh, it's a nice colour underneath. Oh, I pray it comes off in one. Oh no. I spoke far too soon. Yep. Well, that's going to be miserable now. Oh, it was too good to be true. Where's your uh, plastic Stanley blade thingy? Scraper jobby. Smashing. Thank you. I know nothing about rats, but I do feel like whoever's done this has done it quite well. Not just because I'm struggling to take it off, but it just it looks very neat.
Ah. I think we've come across uh, one that's been wrapped by a professional. Whoever did it, did it very well, Joe. What are you checking out? I was wondering how you were getting managed to get the leading edge or not. It's, it's really difficult to get the edge off the door. Yeah, the top bit is, and they've definitely done this like properly. They've taken the handles off, so I think we'll have to take the handles off. So I think they've taken them off and then wrapped it and then put them back on. Oh, that's annoying. The more we expose, the less like highly polished the paint looks, but yeah, still not bad. Buff over it would uh, look loads better. I'm actually really surprised at how well on it is though. What, the wrap? Yeah. Do you want to come around and try doing the heat now that I've got like a big section here we can see if we can like oh wow you've got a massive section off maybe just like heat the pan underneath people will probably be telling me i'm doing it really wrong because you probably shouldn't pull directly away from the panel you want to pull like at an angle but then it tears off Ow. it's one of those jobs where you're gonna have like sore fingertips at the end of the day yeah that's right i've just started learning how to play guitar so i've already done that but you're already better at removing wraps than you are at playing guitar as well uh yes <laughs> Oh, look at that. This is like ridiculously satisfying though. That like, completely revealing a different car underneath. I really want to, I want to wrap a car. Yeah. But do you know what I think? Is like how hard this is, is to take it off. Oh. Can you imagine how hard it is to put it off? Uh. It's, I think it's the per, is it like, you get stuff with like little, uh, I'll oh, perforate it stuff. Yeah, or it's got like diamonds or something on the back and it helps it go on. Oh, look at the thing of that. That's a whole door. Look at that. Uh, well, apart from the little bit at the bottom, you could leave that on as an accent piece. What the hell have I done there? It's actually a really nice colour underneath. I wonder why, they, why it was wrapped. Oh, just, someone probably just thought black was boring and they wanted what Nardo Grey bruv. Nardo Grey. Or Primer. <laughs> like Nardo Grey was like the most fashionable going. Yeah, everyone was obsessed with it. I really don't like Nardo Grey. The only downside to this would be, the nicest one of these I've seen has got like the uh, diamond cut turbine alloys and these trim bits are in like brushed or whatever against the black. I think that looks really nice. Whereas this is going to be just like black, 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 black. Should we team up again? Should I do a bit of heat this time? I think quite strong heat helps. <laughs> Oh, oh man, but okay, too much heat. What's this, Jason? We can edit that, that'll be fine. <laughs> I don't think anyone's in doubt about my athletic abilities. Swish. I wouldn't even know where to start at the gym. Well, there's two people here that have done Tough Mudder. Yeah. I mean, I used to be fit. Forget that you and Mark did Tough Mudder together. You say you hate it? You no, I, can't, I, I, oh. I forget that you two yeah. did it together. That's pretty brutal, to be fair, isn't it? Nah, not really. I thought it was really tame. I was a oh. bit disappointed. Trained for like six months, and I was like, mm, this was rubbish. Well, you didn't recall that one, did you? Disappointment. He is right, I am the star. <laughs> also the one that's paying everyone. Probably a really bad idea, but if you try peeling up a bit and then sticking the airline in there to see if it will just like, oh pop yeah, out like a balloon. Yes, that's what, Get on that's board. what. I've seen it on videos, it TikTok and reels and things. Yeah, it might work. Do you want to get it actually like sealed under there almost? Ah, right, okay. So yeah, you, need yeah. to, you almost want to actually be like under, yeah, under. Under. Yeah, then you and then. But you probably find it nah. too, too, way too tight. Did it not work? I think the wrap's so well on. Yeah. Well, I think you'd have to heat it a little bit to leave that grey. Yeah, we, we'll cut this out. We just won't even mention it. See how many people say, you forgot the fuel cap. Ah, an edge. Don't know if that's going to make my life any easier or not. It's not going to come off nicely. <laughs> it's going to come off lots of millions of little bits. Ah, that's nice. Crazy the difference between. I ah, probably what Dan didn't realise. He's on the side that's got no sun on it. I figured out why you were struggling over there. Where? On your side. Go on. You're not in the sun. Oh, that's, that's a good why point it's all actually. Really brittle and whatever. Yeah. Did you remove the badges off the bonnet? 
Yeah. Ah. I bet police would charge a fortune to do this properly. Well, remove a rat? Yeah. Well, it does on that. If you swing around to the other side where the sun's been on it, because it's not brittle. This side's really brittle. Yeah. So you get a piece and it's like. Oh, my God, yeah, you've pretty much done this side. Try the front wing. That's the one that's been nice in the sun. Hasn't been started yet. Tell you what, if you want. Yeah. Way nicer in black. Way nicer in black. Looks moody as hell. I think it looked cheap in, in, in the grey. A little tacky. It's probably going to make it look newer as well. I was hard expecting, though, to get the rack off and they're just being like a massive damage yeah. well, on one side or something. That was the risk, wasn't it? That's yeah. what we all thought. That yeah. I mean, we haven't done every panel yet, so don't, you know... Don't drink it. Yeah. <laughs> what colour is the roof? No, oh, I'm joking. Should I try a bit of heat on the area, Mark, and then... Yeah, yeah. Blast with the heat gun for a bit. <laughs> Off over there. Let's give Charlie some heat. If anyone needs some heat, it's Charlie. Put the air on it. That will work. How about I touch stuff and it just comes off? Is that happening? Is it coming off, Mark? In sections. Just when you think you've got it, it just starts breaking. I think what you want to do is work around the edge and then pull it. Because then we can put the bonnet down and you can reach over it. Are you taking the lights out? Well, I started pulling off this bit and the trim just fell off. Oh, nice. Like, oh, and then realised it's all wrapped around the light anyway, so... You've got to pimp my brother. You've got to pimp my baby. Whoa. No, 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 no. I think we can give the wheels a coat of uh, Plasti Dip as well. Just yeah. make them look loads better. It's a dangerous task, this is. There's a lot of straining happening here. Yeah. <laughs> we'll all be complaining of, like, bad shoulders and necks tomorrow. Dan was more worried about shitting himself and straining. <laughs> I think that's a separate problem, mate. <laughs> that's age related. Oh. Every single time you were like, where's that coming from? You kept on looking at Mark. That was an absolutely beautiful shot. Right, it is the next day. We've done two whole days of removing wrap off this Range Rover. I have literal blisters on my fingertips from yanking at the plastic. Don't know how long it's been on there, but it was put on very well. And that was one of the things that made me think that this might be okay underneath, but we did find some damage. I don't think it's too bad. Have a look at how it's looking now. So here it is, it looks almost black. And while we're taking the wrap off, I thought it was black, but it's not. This is Causeway Gray. For some reason, someone confused me in the previous video. They said that the wrap was Causeway Gray. So maybe Range Rover had done it. And yeah, I don't know. But basically it's this super dark, glossy gray. It looks absolutely gorgeous, to be honest. Could be one of my favorite Range Rover colors. And it looks really good with all these gloss bits, which actually the gloss black bits are also wrapped. Underneath, there'll be like a brushed silver effect, but it does look very mean and moody like this with the black wheels, which I've just given a little spritz of uh, Plasti Dip over just to kind of make them look uniform at least. And we've got black badges back on, which I mean, would I prefer silver bits on it? Probably, but I do think it looks pretty damn impressive anyway. And I'm amazed at how nice the paint is underneath. We do still have some like residue from where, I mean, the bonnet is the worst and I suspect that's because the wrap was on here, obviously with its adhesive and it's just like heated up, cooled down, heated up, cooled down. This was definitely the hardest bit to get off and the rest wasn't too bad once we got it warm enough. It's crazy the difference it makes between it being just like outdoor temperature and it would just break in little brittle bits of pieces put it inside, get the heater on, and it came off so much easier. On the whole, I think it's paid off, but let's go and have a look at the damage that we found. So there was always a risk that the reason this had been wrapped was because there was some damage underneath. Maybe they didn't want to paint it and they just saw so much damage on here, they will put a wrap on because that would be easier. And it was a concern. And as I say, there was some damage right here. I can't imagine they've wrapped the car for this tiny bit of damage, which they have obviously like prepped that would be like ready to paint. They've sanded it back. What happened there? I don't know. Is this a new light? Did they hit that? Honestly, I don't know because the rest of the paintwork for what is an 11 year old car 
is incredible and they definitely like machine polished it before they put the wrap on it's a really strange choice i feel to have gone from this like dark causeway gray to like a nardo flat matte gray definitely wouldn't have been my choice because it would have been an expensive wrap as well because it was done very well i don't know you tell me i've never had paid for a wrap but i reckon it would be at least four thousand pounds to have had that done so on the whole i am very happy with how this turned out i think it definitely looks better i did in a in a way quite like the wrap beforehand but this 100 percent looks better it's got a really nice deep gloss and flake in here it just makes the car look 10 times better but let me know in the comments do you think the wrap looked better do you think this looked better do you think it was worthwhile doing or was it too much of a risk let me know in the comments and i'm sure it will be divided right down the middle anyway that will be it for this video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have make sure you give it a thumbs up it really helped me out don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already not only will that massively help us out it's free to do but we're also giving away a four thousand pound to watch which you can win completely free as soon as we hit hundred thousand and we are about fifteen thousand away so maybe by christmas time someone could be getting a lovely christmas present hit that subscribe button so hit the subscribe button check out the description as well because there's also the links to my feel good competition raffle where we're raffling off a harley davidson for just a pound and you could win that that will be ending very shortly so make sure you get in there before all the tickets sell out that's it we'll see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>